the revelation of a brand new exoplanet has stargazers energized, as it may indeed be a sign of something happening beneath the surface. For quite a long time, the myth of finding life beyond Earth has intrigued humankind. Now, with the James Webb Space Telescope, that myth could soon become a reality. The telescope has uncovered an intriguing secret in Proxima Centauri, the nearest star system to us. Among its planets, Proxima B stands out with strange artificial lighting, leaving the scientific community confused and captivated. Could this be the long-anticipated proof of intelligent life beyond our planetary group? How do researchers determine if these lights suggest the presence of intelligent life on Proxima B? Join us as we dive into how the James Webb Space Telescope just detected city light 7 trillion miles from Earth. People have always been intensely curious about the mysteries of the universe. Through technological advancements, our natural drive to explore the Earth and sky continues to push us forward. Despite thousands of years of development, Earth remains the only planet we know to have life. The age-old question endures, are we the only occupants of the universe, or are there civilizations hidden among the stars waiting for us to find them? To answer this difficult inquiry, American cosmologist Jill Tata and Thomas Pearson began a project called the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, in 1984. This non-profit effort aims to filter through space, focusing on spaceborne radio transmissions. These radio waves can travel immense distances and are the primary means of potential extraterrestrial communication. To this end, 42 radio telescopes located in the Californian Cascade Mountains have been carefully tuned to the frequencies of the universe. These radio telescopes, known as the Allen Telescope Array, are designed to detect any outsider signal from space. Despite years of searching the sky for reliable signs, there is still no convincing evidence of signals from an extraterrestrial civilization. However, recent reports from NASA suggest that the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, may have detected artificial city lights from nearby planets. Is there any substance to this claim? Let's figure it out. The successful launch of the James Webb Space Telescope is mankind's significant breakthrough in understanding the universe. The JWST is the most advanced instrument in the history of humankind for comprehending what the universe holds. Located around 1 million miles from Earth, this massive telescope is our window to the earliest times of the universe. It brings previously unseen observations closer, revealing insights into the formation of structures, stars, and planets. Astronomers harness the JWST's cameras and filters to capture and study the complex spectra surrounding celestial objects. Through the JWST, analysts can gather valuable data about the chemical compositions and physical properties of heavenly bodies in the farthest reaches of the universe. They achieve this by isolating specific frequencies of light. Beyond basic observation, the JWST investigates and explores the atmospheres of exoplanets for hints of life. Its remarkable ability to see beyond the limits of reality has led to some of the most unexpected discoveries. For instance, through the telescope, astronomers have found more mass than previously known to exist in the universe, hidden in numerous massive galaxies. This finding has challenged earlier ideas regarding the structure and extent of the universe. With humankind deciding to explore the farthest reaches of the universe, the JWST will be a crucial tool in solving the mysteries of distant universes and preparing for new astrophysical records. Only 20 years ago, the realm beyond our planetary system remained largely unknown and without any trace of known planets. However, astronomers have since revealed over 4,000 exoplanets orbiting distant stars, a remarkable demonstration of human ingenuity and technological advancement. According to NASA, this inventory might be just the tip of the celestial iceberg, indicating the presence of trillions more exoplanets scattered throughout the universe. In the enthusiastic search for extraterrestrial life, scientists continue to look for the possibility of discovering alien territories beyond where we have been before. As fate would have it, during the Galileo spacecraft's journey to Jupiter, its spectroscopic instrument uncovered a particular spectral mark that indicated earthbound plant life. This noteworthy discovery marked the first time researchers have seen a biosignature, the Vegetation Red Edge, VRE. The VRE appears in alien life distinctively by focusing on how it reflects light. The JWST is anticipated to reveal the questions surrounding extraterrestrial conditions. 
it will do this by carefully studying the orbital boundaries of potentially habitable far-off exoplanets found within the habitable zones of their alien parent stars. Once identified, these VRE signs will be vital evidence in the search for intelligent life outside our planet. This could be the beginning of a new mission for us in our quest to discover the secrets of the universe. As daylight passes through the atmospheric layers, the broken-down light, which carries various frequencies, is absorbed by the particles and atoms in these layers. This absorption gives rise to a unique spectral pattern, like distinctive fingerprints, that can be interpreted through spectroscopic examination. It is speculated that when light from a star reaches a planet, the JWST will be able to differentiate it as it enters the planet's atmosphere. Thus, the JWST will be key in unveiling the atmospheric composition of remote exoplanets, a fundamental sign of their potential for Earth-like life. Earth-sized planets with atmospheres rich in oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, like Earth, could hold conditions conducive to life as we know it. However, the absence of expected elements or the presence of unusual combinations could indicate alternative forms of life or even mechanical civilizations. Curiously, detected chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, which are man-made compounds primarily used for refrigeration and industrial purposes, could help researchers in proving the existence of an extraterrestrial civilization. If the JWST observes such artificial compounds in the atmosphere of exoplanets, it will open new areas of inquiry for extraterrestrial activity outside our planetary system. This represents a very intriguing venture for astronomical scientists, opening a new door into the atmospheric communities of various worlds and the possibility of exotic civilizations well beyond the Milky Way. The discovery of life beyond our planet is characterized by numerous possibilities that go beyond the limitations of natural science. While we imagine life as we know it thriving in calm environments like ours, the reality might prove significantly more diverse and extreme. For example, extremophiles, an interesting group of organisms predominantly made up of microorganisms, challenge what we understand as a suitable living space. These hardy life forms can easily survive and even thrive in conditions typically defined as very extreme. Extremophiles can endure even the most adverse conditions, with temperatures up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and pH levels below 3. They are remarkable examples of the resilience of living things under harsh conditions. As such, the infinite dynamics of the universe and the countless conditions associated with it tell us that our quest for extraterrestrial life must be broad. Nonetheless, reference planets resembling Earth and orbiting around stable sun-like stars offer legitimate potential opportunities. We must also consider alternative scenarios. High candidates for investigation might include exoplanets orbiting red dwarf stars, M dwarfs, that are more abundant in the universe. Despite their lower brightness and cooler temperatures compared to our sun, these stars provide notable opportunities to explore the potential for life in different conditions. The long life expectancy of red dwarf stars provides ample time for the slow, complex cycles of life's emergence and evolution to unfold. Located about 40 light-years from Earth, the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system stands out as a prime focus for the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, mission. This fascinating system, consisting of a faint red dwarf star and seven Earth-sized rocky planets, circles the tranquil red dwarf star. Three of these known planets are identified as habitable and may potentially have water on their surfaces. Although it is smaller and cooler than our Sun, the TRAPPIST-1 star emits light that is suitable for supporting life on its orbiting planets. Among the various stars in the cosmic neighborhood, Proxima Centauri rises as a reference point for potential life. At a distance of just 4.25 light-years from the Sun, Proxima Centauri is the closest star to our own. This star can be seen in its faint glow, barely noticeable amid the darkness of the night sky. However, its weak radiance means that any habitable planet orbiting it must maintain a close distance. The distance of any habitable planet to Proxima Centauri must be about 20 times closer than Earth is to the Sun. Without meeting this condition, none of its planets can support life-sustaining conditions like our planet. In a captivating discovery on August 24, 2016, cosmologists found a planet with 1.3 times the mass of Earth located within Proxima's habitable zone. The Goldilocks-like region offers a delicate balance of light intensity, perfectly suited to melt ice for water and potentially sustain the seeds of life. 
Proxima b is a galactic conundrum, orbiting around Proxima Centauri, its host star. This planet, which is just 4.6 million miles from its small red star, has many conditions challenging its potential to support life. Proxima b is extremely close to its host star, Proxima Centauri, which exposes it to strong solar winds that could strip away its atmosphere and make it barren. Despite these severe conditions, Proxima b receives enough sunlight to maintain Earth-like temperatures where water is in liquid form. However, the planet's close orbit likely results in tidal locking. This, in turn, leads to one side of the equator experiencing constant intense sunlight while the other experiences absolute darkness. The situation resembles the Moon's relationship with Earth in our planetary system. With just 18% of the mass of the Sun, Proxima Centauri produces a weak glow, emitting significantly less light than expected. Combined with its proximity to Proxima b, just 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun, Proxima Centauri defies conventional assumptions. It suggests that Proxima b may not be a normal planet, instead, it may hold hidden secrets. The JWSD's discovery of light sources resembling Earth's artificial lights on Proxima b has prompted scientists to contemplate the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Is there any merit to these assertions? Astrophysicists anticipate that future scientific data will solidify Proxima b as a candidate for extraterrestrial life. The radiance patterns on Proxima b are closely monitored by the JWST. If these patterns maintain a steady radiance and are repeatedly observed, it would suggest a definitive sign of intelligent life. While the quest for signs of life continues to prompt awe and curiosity, it remains to be seen whether these patterns will eventually serve as compelling proof of intelligent life. Proxima b might not be the blazing hell one would expect for a planet so close to its star. Despite the challenges posed by its close orbit and the potential loss of its atmosphere to solar winds, Proxima b offers compelling possibilities. If it holds a protective atmosphere capable of trapping heat, liquid water might or might not exist on its surface, opening the door to the captivating possibility of habitability beyond Earth. With Proxima b receiving only 65% of Earth's total solar energy, its prospects for fostering life are quite low. The planet's potential state of tidal locking creates extreme temperature differentials between its scorching day and cold night. These harsh conditions, compounded by the planet's proximity to Proxima Centauri, subject Proxima b to intense radiation, including X-rays and ultraviolet light, making it inhospitable to life as we know it. Moreover, Proxima b is bombarded by high-energy particles during stellar flare-ups. Unless the planet boasts a protective magnetic field like Earth, these bombardments could strip away its atmosphere, taking away the conditions essential for life to flourish. Sensible modeling suggests that tidally locked planets like Proxima b may experience rapid atmospheric breakdown as volatile gases freeze out on the night side. Unlike Earth, where volcanic activity replenishes the atmosphere, Proxima b lacks such mechanisms for atmospheric replenishment. The secrets surrounding Proxima b extend beyond its surface conditions to its actual potential for harboring advanced civilizations. Up until now, our current knowledge offers little insight into Proxima b's volcanic activity or the strength of its magnetic field. However, the enticing possibility of an atmosphere fuels speculation about the planet's actual potential to host life. The presence of an atmosphere on Proxima b would suggest the existence of oceans and raise the prospect of life. The mission to uncover signs of natural development on Proxima b has strengthened, driven by the hypothesis that such organisms might have devised clever solutions to overcome the planet's inhospitable conditions. One interesting concept suggests the deployment of massive solar charges across Proxima b's day side. These panels would harness the star's energy to illuminate and warm the perpetually dark and cold night side. Such an undertaking could transform the desolate landscape into habitable zones that can support life. The new discovery of Proxima b has also ignited a heated race among astronomers to determine if it crosses its star's face as seen from Earth. These transits would allow scientists to measure the planet's size and mass, thus working out its density, confirming its rocky composition, and offering insights into the materials that make up its rocks. Additionally, starlight passing through Proxima b's atmosphere during these transits provides clues about the structure of its atmosphere and its habitability. Despite the challenges, 
the search to unravel the mystery of Proxima B remains a priority, fueled by the insatiable human thirst for knowledge and the possibility of other life forms outside our solar system. Another factor to consider is Proxima Centauri's turbulent nature, which is capable of significant flares. This increases the complexity of investigating the habitable universe of Proxima B. Cosmologist David Kipping from Columbia University describes the star as unstable, highlighting the challenge posed by its variable heating patterns. While rocky planets typically absorb sunlight and emit infrared radiation, Proxima's case differs. Its infrared signature differs from that of its host star, presenting a unique opportunity for observation. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, acts as the savior as it can detect infrared frequencies. Proxima's unique infrared intensity signature is what will help us discover the secrets of its climate. The state-of-the-art infrared imaging capabilities of the JWST are fully equipped to reveal the secrets of Proxima B's atmospheric components and provide novel insights into the possibilities of living on it. Furthermore, the JWST's infrared sensitivity extends investigation to Proxima B's night side. Despite the daunting challenge of detecting faint artificial illumination against immense darkness, the JWST's advanced technology enables it to observe even the slightest flickers of light. The James Webb Space Telescope will be capable of confirming the rumors about city lights on Proxima's night side. Even if they were as weak as the lights we currently use at night, the telescope can detect artificial illumination provided it falls within a frequency band 1,000 times narrower than the starlight. Proxima B's unique climate presents a fascinating relationship between its surface features and celestial interactions. The planet's day side, if filled with many solar charges, will harness the star's radiant energy while its spectral edge efficiently reflects incoming light rays. As Proxima B completes its orbit around its host star, its 247 sides experience identical cycles characterized by mild daytime highs and cool nighttime lows. However, the degree of temperature variations depends on the planet's structure. If Proxima lacks an atmosphere, the difference between its perpetual sides would be wide. Without the moderating effect of atmospheric gases and oceans, the day side would radiate heat like a black body while the night side plunges into cold darkness. By observing the extent of temperature variation, astronomers can gain valuable insights into Proxima's climatic structure. With its unmatched infrared imaging capabilities, the JWST will scrutinize the planet's thermal emissions, providing invaluable data about its atmospheric properties. Remarkably, the JWST's orbit around Earth aligns with Proxima's orbital period, facilitating continuous observations of both its day and night sides within 11.2 Earth days. Assuming that Proxima B has an atmosphere, the next step is to analyze its atmospheric chemistry to see if it can support life. Certain gases, such as oxygen, water vapor, or even methane, if present, are good indicators of habitable conditions and the possible existence of life. However, the analysis requires meticulously capturing and examining light beams interacting with or passing through Proxima's atmosphere, an inherently challenging endeavor. Although the James Webb Space Telescope provides significant opportunities for characterizing planetary atmospheres, its primary mission is different. The telescope is primarily tuned to examine the variations in methane, carbon dioxide, and water vapor concentration, although it is limited in detecting reinforced oxygen, a strong signature of life. The JWST may still have reasons to search for other substances, including ozone, which could provide information about the natural level of energy in the planet's atmosphere. Also, the JWST doesn't have absolute capabilities, and its gaze is limited to a few of the closer and potentially habitable worlds. To conduct a more comprehensive atmospheric analysis, astronomers are turning to ground-based observatories like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, planned to start operations in 2028. The ELT is uniquely positioned to delve deeper into the atmospheric composition of distant exoplanets. Its data will provide remarkable insight into their habitability. As we eagerly await the deployment of future space telescopes, the James Webb Space Telescope remains a crucial tool.